everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome for today's video i am giving you all of my best tips all of my travel hacks on how to master traveling this summer i'm going to talk about my favorite products to bring with me on a summer vacation i'm going to give my best tips and then i'm going to talk about my favorite travel accessories which have really changed my travel game and has allowed me to travel for weeks on end in just a carry-on and I'm gonna tell you guys how I do that. Before we get into this video, I just wanna let you know that there will be a part two to this video where I go through my summer capsule wardrobe. I was originally going to put that all in one video, but this video would be 10 years long. So make sure you subscribe for that video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make 20 to 30 outfits out of 10 pieces, how to meticulously pack in a carry-on. So when I'm traveling, I fit all of my toiletries, makeup, and hair products in this one carry case. I know it seems crazy because I used to be that girl. I was that girl who had 20 makeup bags. But when you're traveling, especially when you're going somewhere hot, I find it's best to just bring the necessities. Bring the products you obviously can't live without, but you have to get out of that mindset where you think you need absolutely everything. Every eyeshadow palette, every lipstick. Narrow down the products that you are using and figure out the products that you absolutely need every day. So like I said, all of my hair, skin, and makeup products are in this little bag, which is from Bayes. You can hang all of your products up like this. I have my hair products up here, my makeup products in this little middle compartment, and then my skincare in the bottom. So let's start with my hair products because when you're going somewhere hot, when you are traveling, I don't know about you guys, but my hair gets so frizzy on vacation and I have a product for you that is going to change your life and I don't know about you but when I'm on vacation I don't want to be blow drying my hair but I still want it to look good so I quickly want to thank JVN for sponsoring this video but this product has genuinely changed my life I've been using their hair products for a little bit over a month now and I love every single one of their products, but especially for the summertime, because this product is really going to tame the frizz on your hair. You'll be able to air dry it, enjoy your time on vacation, enjoy your time this summer without worrying about your hair frizzing up. And it's also going to allow any style you put in your hair to hold. So if you braid your hair, you will get really nice waves without the frizziness and the style will hold. You guys don't know JVN Hair was created by the hairstylist Jonathan Van Ness, who is on Queer Eye, who is just an amazing hairstylist. It is a performance hair brand for everyone. It is science backed. All of their products contain their patented, patented um, sugar cane hemisqualine, which is scientifically proven to be better than silicone, and it is proven to protect your hair from damage, from color fade, it prevents breakage, all without causing product buildup on your hair or harming the environment. So this product is going to be a game-changing product for you for the summertime. It also adds buildable, touchable hold to your hair while letting your natural hair texture shine through without being so crunchy or flaky on your hair. So if you're traveling with just a carry-on, you can put this in just a little travel case. And then the next product I wanna talk about from them, which, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It is the Nourishing Shine Drops. It's made with clean hemisqualine, silicone-free, sulfate-free, color-safe, and vegan. I'll take a few drops on my hand, rub it in, and I just rub it through my hair and it adds so much shine without weighing your hair down. You can get them at jvn.com. You can also buy these products at Sephora, but if you go to jvn.com and take their quiz, you can get 20% off your purchase. So that is really the hair products that I bring along with a hairbrush. I literally just bring something hydrating for my hair, a product that I can you know, do my hair really quickly, guarantee it's going to look good, and that is all. So then moving on to this middle compartment, I have my makeup. What I really love about this is that it comes with a detachable, like it comes out clear pouch. You can use this for your skincare or whatever you want. So I have all my makeup in here. I have my NARS foundation, my NARS concealer, my SPF skin tint, my powder, a little eyeshadow palette, my bronzer, my cream bronzer, a lip gloss, 
a travel size mascara which is another tip save your samples of things you love for when you travel a blush another cream blush a lip oil and my beauty blender and then in the back part here there's all these different little compartments i have my brushes and then on this side i have my lip pencils and my eyes eyeliners i've really narrowed down my makeup routine so it all fits really nicely in here and then in the bottom section i have my supplements and my vitamins and my skincare so when i actually do travel i will be putting this in another little plastic bag but i have my ritual vitamins i have my moisturizer another spf a travel size cleanser another sample of this ultra clarifying face oil so this is my fake tan <laughs> i put in this little travel sprayer and then i can touch up my tan on vacation depending how long you're going for this has worked perfectly for me now let's get on to my best packing and travel tips this obviously is for a more spring summer vacation. You're not going to pack an entire snowsuit in a carry-on. My first tip is to only pack outfits you have already put together, you know you feel amazing in, and that you are comfortable in. Once you put these outfits together, I want you to take pictures of yourself wearing the outfit. When you're on vacation, you can look back at your pictures and decide exactly what you want to wear. To really maximize the space in your carry-on, I want you to be packing outfits and picking pieces for your outfits that you can wear many different ways typically i like to pack two to three tops for every pair of bottoms don't bring that shirt that's been sitting in the back of your closet since 2016 that you haven't touched thinking that maybe now's the time you're going to wear it it's not the time okay pack outfits that you know you are going to love tip number two is to make a list of absolutely everything you are going to need for your trip not really with clothing but for the little items that you might forget so for me it's nipple stickers it is chargers curling irons it is all of those products that i really do not want to forget i don't want to be scrambling around before i have to leave for the airport looking for all of these items if i have a list i can go through check it off and make sure i have all of the things i genuinely 100 percent need with me this will stop you from having the feeling that you forgot to pack something because if you have all of these necessities on the list and you know you have them you're good to go this may seem obvious but before you travel especially if it's somewhere new do research on where you're traveling each vacation is going to need different outfits packing for greece is extremely different than packing for vegas or packing for miami it's just a completely different vibe also look are you going to be walking on cobblestone are you going to be hiking a lot are you going to be sightseeing what kind of vacation are you going for and tailor your outfits for that specifically. If I know I'm going to be walking up the steps in Greece or walking on cobblestone, I'm more likely to pick a heel like this, which has a chunkier heel than a heel like this, which isn't as comfortable and isn't as sturdy or stable. Also make a list of any notable events or things that you might be going to. Let's say you know you're going to one nice dinner a night, make sure you have at least one nice outfit for all of the things that you are attending. It's all about the prep. The prep is going to allow you to have the best, most relaxing vacation ever. My next tip is to categorize your outfits, categorize your carry-on with packing cubes these are from monos you can get them off of amazon honestly like i just think regular packing cubes are fine i love packing cubes and yes they do save space but the thing i love most about them is that they keep your carry-on they keep your luggage so organized in one of them i might have all of my beach outfits and then in another one i'll have all of my dinner outfits you can organize it whichever way works for you one can have all of your tops this one can have all your bathing suits this one can have all of your bottoms but when you're on vacation and you're trying to pick your outfit out it just makes it so easy to find exactly what you're looking for and it saves so much space you're literally able to pack like twice as much when you use packing cubes and my last tip is to wear the bulkiest clothes of yours on the plane so i love a good chunky sneaker i am going to wear those on the plane because i don't want to have to pack that in a carry-on because they take up so much room if i'm wearing a sweatsuit i will be wearing it on the plane just because i want to make sure that i really maximize the space that i have so now i want to talk about carry 
carry-ons, the best carry-ons, and the carry-on situation that's going to maximize your space and allow you to bring the most stuff. Again, any of these tips you can totally take into a regular luggage. So when I travel, I bring one rolly carry-on, and then I also bring one personal item because you are allowed to bring a carry-on and a personal item. So this acts as my personal item but realistically it's just two carry-ons i used to travel with this bag which is a louis vuitton cue ball i believe this is the size 45. i hate it i hate traveling with this bag you can't really fit that much stuff in it it's a lot smaller than it seems it's really hard to zip up once it's full and it's a heavy bag in general like without anything in it it's heavy you can't really fit a laptop in it like it's just not conducive for traveling so i actually went with the mini weekender bag simply because i thought the regular weekender bag would be too big it's good if you're going for a weekend trip and that's all you're bringing but to have on top of my carry-on i just thought it would be too big it comes with two compartments so it has the bag compartment and then it has the bottom compartment which is like a shoe compartment you can really put whatever you want in there and this part is detachable so once you get to your destination i can detach this bottom compartment leave it in the hotel and then you're left with just this bag which i plan on using as my beach bag you don't have to pack a beach bag it works out great it has leather straps and then it also has a crossbody strap however that's not how i'm going to be carrying it because seems gets pretty heavy this pocket in the back here actually has two purposes so you could either use it as a little pocket or you can unzip it and slip the handle of your rolly carry-on through it to make sure it stays in place and it isn't falling all over the place while you're running through the airport it also has a pocket in the front um, which I actually don't have anything in there right now, but it does have a pocket what I love about this bag is the closure so it actually opens up like this and you can fit so much in here. So the first thing I had in here, which you guys already saw, is this thing. It was literally right in here. The next notable thing in here is here is a laptop sleeve and case that comes out. And then you have another pocket here. So you can just slip your laptop right in here. But I like this laptop sleeve because obviously it protects your laptop. And then I have a few other things in here. So it has a Velcro closure my laptops in here in this little front pocket i have my kindle this is another thing that i think you absolutely need to get if you travel a lot and if you like reading because you don't have to carry many books around with you and then in this other pocket i have the charger so i have my kindle charger my laptop charger phone charger and i have my little SD card reader adapter for my laptop. So then in here I have a change of outfit. This is just a little dress from Abercrombie. When I get to my destination, it's just something quick to change into. You could also put this in the regular carry-on, but this gives it easy access. And then I have my actual purse in here. Typically I'll bring two bags with me, two smaller bags. Whichever one I'm carrying goes into my um, bag. Then I have a pair of of slides in here as well typically they're my like nicer slides that I don't want to get squashed in my luggage typically they're also in a dust bag <laughs> then in here I have a hat sunglasses and the last two things I have are two clips for your hair you don't want to forget bringing clips and bringing hair elastics then on the other side there are a few more pockets in this one I have my passport you could also put this on the pocket on the outside, but I prefer having it actually inside. I have a little travel size perfume, and this one I got at Anthropology. It's called Fig, and it smells like a summer vacation. It is absolutely delicious. And I have my little jewelry. And when you get your jewelry, it comes in these little pouches. And what's really good about these pouches is that there is a little divider in there. We did that so you can pack, you know, multiple pairs of jewelry in one bag and it won't get scratched. When you get your order from CNC, make sure you keep these bags because they are amazing for traveling and they're nice and small and compact and I just had them right in this little pocket. In this bigger pocket here, I have um, <laughs> Midol and Advil. 
Typically, I'll also maybe have gravel and whatever medication I need to bring with me on the trip. And then I also pack a pair of really affordable sunglasses. So I had my Ray-Bans. Those are like my nicer glasses that I need to keep in the case. I need to, you know, protect a little bit more. And then I always bring a pair of really affordable sunglasses with me on vacation. These are the ones I bring with me to the beach. These are the ones I wear, like I literally throw on. I definitely wear these more than my other sunglasses. I don't worry about them. I literally just throw them in the bag. They were $10 on Amazon. They're amazing sunglasses. So I will leave these linked down below. So that is it for this inside part of the bag. Again, this is the mini weekender bag. So if you get the bigger weekender bag, you can definitely fit more. And then there is this bottom part of the bag, which opens up. It is leather, like a faux leather. And you can take it right off. And then this is what the smaller compartment looks like. I just packed three pairs of shoes in it. So I have one pair of black heels, one pair of white heels, and a pair of slides. So this is how much can fit into this little compartment. Be careful because on the classic weekender bag, this part is not detachable. Don't worry, I have a blanket on my bed. So I've tried three different luggages, three different carry-ons, away, monos, and base. Right now, my away carry-on is at my sister's. I gave it to her. I didn't have any issues with it. It's a good basic carry-on. It could fit a lot. I did a whole trip to Japan in just that carry-on. So I was looking for a bigger carry-on, and the only brand that I saw had an even bigger carry-on was Monos. Monos has a few different carry-on options. They have a carry-on, a carry-on plus, a carry-on pro, and the carry-on pro plus. The difference between the carry-on and the carry-on plus is the size. Carry-on plus is a little bit larger, and then the difference between the carry-on and the carry-on pro is there is this pocket on the front, which I'll get into in just a second, and the difference between the carry-on pro and the carry-on pro plus is the size. The Carry-On Pro is the standard 22 by 14 by 9 inches and the Carry-On Pro Plus is 23 by 15 by 9.5 inches. So it is a little bit larger and that is the one I have here. I wanted a bigger carry-on. I was a little bit nervous about whether it would fit on the plane if I was going to have any issues with that and I have not had any issues with using this as a carry-on. can't really tell with your, you know, naked eye that it's bigger than a traditional carry-on, but it definitely has some more room. So what drew me to this carry-on is the pocket in the front where you can put your laptop, and I thought it was just an absolute great idea. This is really great if you are kind of the kind of person who brings a carry-on and then just a crossbody bag or a purse because you have somewhere to put your laptop that you have easy access. And then you have a few other pockets. So you have another pocket here. And then on this side, you have a few more little pockets. This one can fit like AirPods. You have a passport pocket, which I have used, and another bigger compartment, which you can put some documents and some stuff for easy access. This is a hard shell carry-on, obviously, so there is no stretch or give to the carry-on. Really, what you see is what you get. Whatever fits in here, it's what fits in here. It has no give and there's no extender. I have to say out of all the carry-ons that I've tried, the wheels and how sturdy it feels is the absolute best on the Monos. So when you open it up, this is what you see. You have a pocket for some whatever you want to put in here and then you can fit your clothes in here. And then it has another compartment, a compression compartment that you can unzip and put more stuff in. And then it has a little zipper compartment here. You can put, I don't know, some underwear, some socks. And it also has some straps to keep everything in place. The only thing I don't love and that I had to get used to was how rigid it was. I feel like with the Away carry-on, it really had some give in the material. It felt like you can kind of squish things down. But with the mono luggage, it's like really hard. It's not as forgiving. You know what is forgiving? This one right here from Bayes. So this is not actually mine. This is my friend Nikki's. She ordered this for our trip to Greece this summer and I thought I would just review it for you guys. I haven't traveled with it, but I thought I would let you know my thoughts and opinions. This is a soft luggage that is compressible, so you can definitely 
stretch it out this carry-on is 22 by 14 by 9 inches and 6.5 inches when collapsed so it does expand quite a bit you can see here on the front it has a pocket you can't quite fit a laptop in it but it does have a nice passport compartment it does have a TSA lock so does the mono luggage one thing I have to say about this carry-on that I was so impressed by was all the different little features that were put into it so on the side here there's a little weight indicator to tell you if your luggage is overweight or not which would have saved me so much worrying in the past especially on their full-size luggage it'll tell you if it's over 50 pounds here you have two different compartments and it also comes with some extra little bags for you to stay organized this compartment zips open and you can put clothes in here you can remove this or you can flip it over like that and you have an area to put um, like underwear or bathing suits and you have a whole other area i'm not sure about the hard shell base luggage but i know for this one when it's empty it doesn't feel that sturdy but once you fill it up with clothes i tested it out um it feels pretty sturdy the wheels are nice and one thing i really like about this um it's just like a little feature the handle feels so nice and cushiony it's really comfortable to hold shipping with my mono's luggage took weeks shipping with Bayus took literally two days and there was no duties and no taxes so i think Bayus is honestly like my new favorite travel brand travel company they have really innovative products that are pretty affordable compared to some of the other things on the market i hope this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions about any of the carry-ons definitely leave a question down below i will leave everything i mentioned jvn all the products all of the carry-ons and bags and stuff link down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when i post my capsule collection video where i show you guys how to get many 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 outfits out of 10 to 12 pieces so thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next